In this video, we're going to have a look inside of my Peli case. So it's not inside the bag, it's inside the Peli bag. If you enjoy this kind of content, photography, video, tips, tutorials, reviews, please consider subscribing. Okay, let's go right in. Some of you might know I am actually a professional photographer and filmmaker. This Peli case is my essential video making kit. This is what I take with me on a daily basis when I don't have to carry a lot of other stuff. This is my basic lightest uh, kit. So let's have a look what's inside of it. Let's go for the big boy first. The big boy, the big boy here. Let's take this off. This is Sony a7S2. I love this camera for the ISO, the low light. It's just a good video camera from Sony. Only camera is Sony 24105 lens, the most versatile lens for video. The camera is in a small rig cage. This is customized small rig cage with the three handles. Uh, this handle is actually a top handle, but I love the hole in it because I can thread the cables through it. It's a top handle with the two Allen key screws and also a wooden handle with an on and off switch. Great for handheld work, it just feel, feels right in hands, the right weight. You can carry it from the top and uh, with, the, with the handles. Uh, and that's it about this one. Let's go for the lenses. The first one is this. This is uh, my wide angle lens, my widest I uh, use for uh, all of things like a property, videography and photography. This is a Nikon mount Tamron. This is a 15 to 30 millimeter, very wide, very heavy beast. This is my probably second most go-to lens for photography and video, my Sigma 50 millimeter f1.4 art. Beautiful bokeh, beautiful sharp lens. I use this manually, uh, manually focusing on this, on this because it's a Nikon mount on my Sony camera. Love it. Okay, let's go from this side. Microphone. First microphone, Rode VideoMic Pro, not the Plus, this is a standard Pro version. Great sounding, light microphone, great to put on the camera or on a cage, great for vlogging, great for when you can get close to, to your audio source you're recording. Yeah. And that kitten for the Rode mic. And my underdog, I absolutely love this microphone. This is Boya BYPVM1000. I do record audio commercially and for all my YouTube videos with this mic. This is a 50 pounds Amazon mic with a great quality. It does look and sound like NTG2 and for the fraction of the price, I do love it. And it comes with a, a furry thing. Okay, let's go on this side first. The battery, power brick battery to power my Sony camera. You can power my camera with this for 14 hours continuously, probably even more. Great to replace the flaky Sony own little battery. So yeah, must have. Now that case in my Peli case contains batteries. This is full of batteries. This is the batteries for the big Sony batteries for the, that thing we're gonna get to. Yeah, batteries, a lot of batteries. It weighs a ton like a brick, batteries. Okay, in this Peli case, within the Peli case, we do have my second favorite item after the camera, or maybe equally as favorite item as my camera. In here, after taking all the small bits, <laughs> we do have an Atomos Ninja 5 recorder. This is awesome. This is uh, the best thing since sliced bread. This actually, the screen is so bright. Oh, don't move. The screen is so bright, even on a sunny, sunshiny day. The focus picking, the waveforms, the audio recording, the audio monitoring. Uh, yeah, very, very good tool to record a video, but higher quality than camera compressed files. It records ProRes as well, which is very good for editing on the Mac. In here also, we do have a batteries for the recorder, more batteries. I've got four of those. They actually can power the, the recorder all day long. Two of those, I've got, I've got several. Uh, in here also, we do have a little case which contains the small rig tool for the small rig cage, Allen keys and the screwdrivers. Uh, in here also, we have a great, great, great thing from small rig. This is the monitor uh, mount. You put monitor on top, you attach this to the cage. What's great about this, you don't have to unlock it to tilt or swivel the screen quick. 
also in here we do have a SSD hard drive for recording the ProRes files on the Ninja 5 recorder. In here also we do have a high uh, bit rate HDMI cable for recording from the camera into the into the SSD drive and SATA, SATA, I don't know how you pronounce this, computer cable to connect the hard drive, the SSD drive from Ninja 5 into the computer. And the last thing here in a little case, Nepali case, within the Nepali case is the vari variable ND filter. Variable ND filter from KNF and not the underdog. This is a cheap ND variable filter from Amazon. And uh, yes, it creates the cross on the wider side of the 24105, but you don't have to push it so far. I film with this on the beaches, I film with this on the very bright sunny days with no color casting, it grades beautifully, I've got no dark patches on the sky, great buy. Okay, as you can see, there's no headphones uh, in this case because I do all my audio monitoring visually on my Ninja 5 by just looking at the meters and seeing if they're clipping or not. Yeah, it's not the way you should do it, but it works for me. In here, we got a coarse case. I'm not sponsored by Coors, I wish I was. I love these Coors boxes because they are right hide for my Peli case. When I close the case, nothing falls out of this box. I've got three of those. For the repack, for the bigger jobs, I can take the foam out and put the three boxes full of stuff, camera in a small camera bag on the side with a Ninja 5 in the Peli case, within the Peli case, next to it. And I can actually double the, the capacity of this, of this uh, case with these, the great just organizers and the cores as well. I do like that beer. First one, first item in here is the Peak Design Strap. This is for the handheld work for the three points of contact. Great, easy to attach and detach from the camera. Peak Design Strap. Uh, also in here, we do have a two small LED lights. They're not bright enough, big enough for, for main lighting, but they're great for a little help big lighting, little key lights, moving lights for the product shots, handy little tool, little LED lights. Here we got an adapter, dummy battery going to two USB cables for the power brick to power the camera for long periods of time. Also in here we do have an adapter, this is a Nikon mount to Sony E-mount to use Nikon lenses on the Sony camera. Uh, also in here we got a Leatherman multi-tool, always needed, pliers and screwdrivers or knife, all in one package. We do have in here the power supply for Atomos Ninja 5. Do have an emergency supply of a 50mm lens, just in case anything happens to my Sigma. This is my backup little Sony 50mm f1.8 FE lens, which I have reviewed before. It's actually okay. And the most important tool if you are a musician or a filmmaker, gaffer tape. You never know when you have to stick two things together. This will always do it. Also in here, we're nearly there. We got a long XLR cable with the adapter to mini jack to record audio from my shotgun mic to my Ninja 5 recorder. And emergency guitar pick. You just never know when you come across guitar, you have to strum guitar pick. And last two things. We do have a backup a monitor mount for the cage or a camera, just in case my swivelly one doesn't work or something happens to it, I do have a backup so I can put the monitor and recorder onto my cage or a camera. And the last thing I've got in here on the bottom of my case is the, the hot shoe, cold shoe mount for the mic to go on the cage, the shotgun mic. And this is all of my essential filmmaking kit inside of my Peli case. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.